Over the course of my life, I've been lucky to experience many unique things. On this Finland adventure alone, Tucker and I have snowboarded underneath the moonlight, ripped across the polar tundra behind arctic dog sleds, and watched the northern lights completely rip open the sky as we pull the plug. But this, this is insane. Check it out. What? <laughs> this is the Arctic Snow Hotel, a guest lodge completely made from ice. And I'll be spending the next 24 hours freezing in it. Okay, so I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on this place, but I promise you, nothing prepared me for how absolutely insane this experience was. So the first thing that stuck out to me was how actually cold everything is. Obviously, it's made of ice, like everything. I thought maybe there'll be a few like glass things to make the optics a little more sellable, but this is all genuinely ice. Like this is where you sit to have a drink with your friend. Every, it's made of ice. It is so cold in the hotel that sometimes the temperature can drop to minus 15 degrees Celsius at night. The experience is made even more frigid because every single guest in the hotel sleeps inside a slab of ice. Everything is ice. There's no heaters underneath the bed. Nothing. It's still ice. Okay, so probably my favorite aspect about these, these ice rooms is that they collaborated with snow sculptors and ice sculptors to make beautiful, beautiful art pieces in every single room. Let me show you this. Look at that! That's insane! Each and every single room in the ice hotel has its own intricate design, all relating to space travel, prompted by the intergalactic theme in this year's exhibition. And the theme changes every single year. I'll tell you what, this, this is my least favorite room, and I'll show you why. This is the alien room an artistic representation of what it might look like if you abducted and examined by extraterrestrial beings. <laughs> horrifying. It's, it's like horrifying. so artistically detailed too. And someone sleeps literally right there. Right there. We have to get out. Of here. So this one, room 301, is the biggest room they have in this whole place. So if you and four of your homies come to adventure in Finnish Lapland, you can sleep here. Okay, so this hotel room is big and spacious and all that, but at this point, you have to have noticed that there are no doors in front of every single hotel room. And that's for a reason. Funny enough, the hotel doesn't really function as a hotel during the daytime. It functions more as a gallery space. For the small price of 12 euros, you can get to explore each and every single room by yourself or with the direction of a tour guide. Interestingly, this means you have to wait till 10 p.m before you're able to check into your room. Which is insane, insane. considering you have to pay 500, 500 euros. euros for one room. That was wild. Now granted, they do provide a little space for you to relax in. I'll show you that space now. This is the collection space that you can wait with every other guest who's staying in the hotel. These are the sleeping bags that everyone used. They clean them every night. And nighttime, when they're ready to be used, they'll be put into the cubby holes right here. You can come, you can grab your pillow, you can do your thing, and then you can go to bed. In every single ice room, there's no shower, there's no toilet. So if you need to use a toilet, if you need a cleanup in the middle of the night, you have to come here. To the communal bathroom. That's right, every single man in the whole hotel has to share this space. This is the shower, this is the toilet, for 500 bucks. Now you might be seeing Carl. You're being a little high maintenance, it's an ice hotel. Get over it. And you'd be right, you'd be right. There's a couple of things that just didn't sit right with me. For example, everyone's property has to go there in the middle of the night, which there's no doors, if you didn't notice. There's no doors, so there's no privacy. If you come in for your honeymoon and you wanna, you know what I'm saying, everyone can see you from the outside. Or even, yeah. Carl, Wi-Fi. Ex no Wi-Fi. There's no Wi-Fi in the entire hotel. It's a beautiful gallery of excellent and beautiful art, but it's not really equipped to be a hotel room. They have to put, put a bunch of other things in to make it feel a lot more homey, to make you feel like, yes, you can actually spend a night here. But we're positive, we're trying to stay on the positive side and keep things up. And in order to do that, I have to show you more cool stuff in this hotel, because hotel rooms aren't the only cool thing they have in this place. They got a whole bar. A, bar. a whole bar up here. Guess what? The shot glasses are mid ice. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that is <laughs> slick as hell. <laughs> Cheers! Ah. They also have a chapel that's been used for a few marriage ceremonies, so you can get married in the ice hotel if you want to, which is pretty cool. And they have an ice restaurant here. Look at it. The chairs are made of ice, the tables are made of ice. We arrived too late to try out the restaurant, and we're leaving too early, so I'll have to do it when I come back. Okay, so that's enough chitter chatter. It's time to put my money where my mouth is and actually spend the night on a bed made of ice. Okay, we're tired, we've had a long day. 
of adventuring, so many snow related adventures. It's time to go to bed. You actually have to get your own sleeping bag and sleeping bag liner. Don't forget the pillow, buddy. Do not forget the pillow. <laughs> all right, uh, carry your sleeping bags and your pillows all through the snow and then go and find a room. This one, room 302, is where we'll be sleeping tonight. Room 302 showcases an interstellar mech traveler harnessing the fruit of life from an otherworldly planet. That's all artistically cool, but I'm incredibly intimidated by how cold this night is gonna be. I don't know, I don't actually know what to do, like if I just leave all my clothes on to stay super warm, because it's frigid in here. You know? I'm gonna sleep naked. I'm sleeping next to you. Perfect, and I would need to stay warm, so. Oh my God, why is it cold? so freaking cold? Did you just ask why is it cold <laughs> as you're hopping into a bed of ice? <laughs> Let me just zip that up. Ah. Oh, it's actually, I should be snuggly. It's pretty cozy, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty snuggly. Oh. Good night. Now, I'm one of those people who's lucky to just be able to fall asleep immediately, very, very easily, but I didn't know what a rough and cold night we had ahead of us. I kept moving, tossing, and turning all through the night, trying to readjust and find warm little pockets of air inside my sleeping bag to no avail. Uh, good morning from Intel. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's <Really>? changed. <laughs> it is freezing in here, but I'll tell you what, this was an otherworldly experience. <laughs> Sleeping underneath <laughs> this giant robot reaching for an, an alien fruit. I don't know why we expected anything else apart from that. I know, from, I know. just zero sheer cold. <laughs> freezing. On the bright side, included in your reservation here at the Ice Hotel is a warm and toasty breakfast that gives you the opportunity to warm your shivering bones next to a really cozy fire. After breakfast, we decided to head to the ice bar for a glass of champagne, celebrating having spent the night in a hotel made entirely uh, actually, of ice. Actually, can we have uh, two glasses of champagne, please? Oh, look at this. this Even the this, table. This is sick. This is a great way to finish the experience. Of, look, come over here, Jonas. Guess what? So we just checked out right now. They gave us certificates. Hey, congrats on spending 500 euros, you an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know what though? This is so cool. They're congratulating us on- Don't, don't rip it, don't rip it. Don't rip it, don't rip it. Why would you do oh, that, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> Pay the 12 euros. <laughs> Pay the 12 euros for the just, tour. Just walk around, see the tour, go to the bar, done. You can come, it's really beautiful, but do not spend in 500 euros for a night, but do you think it's worth it? But I think one night, one night I would do it. Okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, would you do it? Would you do it? <laughs> Let's know. You've heard it from the bartender himself. Would you stay in this ice hotel? That is a question. Would you stay here? Can you handle this? Please put it down in the comments. Put it down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next adventure. Peace.